Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Today we'll be looking at extracting metadata information from pictures. In this case we'll be using a JPEG image, however uh, it is possible to extract information from other images as well such as PNG um, and so on and so forth, bitmap, you name it. Um, I'll, what I'll be doing firstly is running through the code with you and then We'll be running the actual code itself and see what outputs we get. So first things first, let me zoom in and let's run through the code. So firstly, I'm going to import uh, two modules, but I'm going to import uh, bits of the second one. The, the name of the modules we're importing is firstly pandas, because what we're doing is we're creating a nice data frame and then exporting the information that we get from the picture into a CSV file. And the second thing is I've imported uh, the PIL module, but I've only imported the XTF tags bit and the PIL.image part of it as well. So in order for this code to work, we need an image. So the first thing I've done is I've gone to Google, I've typed in Apple and then JPG, and I've literally downloaded the first image that we see, which is from commons.wikimedia.org, interesting. Anyway, I've downloaded this image here, and because I am using Anaconda, I've put it into this location up here, ready for use. And what I have done is I have um, now loaded it into uh, the code using image equals pil.image.open, and then App, the name of how I saved the file with is extension. So in this case, I've saved it as Apple 2, and I've, because it's a JPG, I've typed in .jpg after that. And what I've done is that is now got the image ready to use in our Python code. The next thing we have done is I've done is I have gone through the PIL module and I have extracted all the bits of information. That we could get from the image should uh, we have all the information that we want. So what I've done is I've typed in p.tags.items and I've simply done you just type in p here. Remember I've imported pil.exif tags as p. So by using p I've just called pil.exif tags. You type in p.tags.items and so on and so forth, and that will get you that. The next thing I've done is I have put in a sort of more of a dictionary format by typing in dict.tagindex, which is what I called that p.tag.items. And then what that has done is that has now given me a list of all possible um, tags and metrics that I could get should all the information be available. Now, one thing I should point out is that we are getting the metadata information from the picture, but what they call it in this case is they've called all the different items of information available in the picture as tags, and what they're known and what the information is known and generally is this known as EXIF data. So what we're getting here is the EXIF tags, um, just to um, confuse you less. And the next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be getting the EXIF data from the picture itself. So from the apple2.jpg image, we're going to be getting all the tags, all the information possible, all the metadata from it. And we do that by typing in x equals image underscore get EXIF dot items. And what that does is that gets all the EXIF data from the picture. And then again, we're going to put that in a dictionary fi uh, format and call that x underscore dict. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a pandas data frame. So what we have so far is we have two lists. We have the tagged dict list, which gives us a list of all the possible metrics that we can get. And then the um, we've got the xdict list, which gives us the information that we actually have managed to get from the picture. The next thing we do is we get we're going to put it into a data frame and we put that we do that by calling pandas, we type in pd, which is what we've um, imported pandas as, pd.dataframe.fromdict, and then we call uh, the first list, and we're going to orient that with its index equal to the index. And we call that equal to y, 
And we've done the same thing for the uh, actual information we've got from the picture, and we call that equal to Z. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, export those two data frames into a CSV file. And we do that simply by calling Y and Z respectively, and we call them dot to CSV, and we call and we put in quotation marks whatever name of the file we want with its extension. So in this case, I've got exif info.csv and I've got exif lookup.csv, one for the actual information that we could have and one for the information that we do have. So let us run this for, run this Python code and let's see what we get. So, so I've run that and it's very quick. Uh, refresh, quick code, quick run time. So let's see, so if you go into my tutorial sheets folder, we can see here you've got two files, exif info and exif lookup. So let's look at the exif lookup first. And then wait for it to load. There we go. See, this is a list of all the possible metrics that we can get. Now, I noticed, in case you haven't noticed, that numbers do go up very quickly. It goes from 700 to 4096, then 18,246. That doesn't mean there's 18,246 metrics available necessarily. It's just numbered in its own way. But as you can see here, we can get all sorts of all sorts of um, metrics available. We can get cell width, cell length, make, model, uh, resolution information, the softwares, the date and time, the uh, you know exposure, time, whether it's copyright or not, the battery level, so on and so forth. So how long the flash was set for, you can get sort of information on the settings used on the camera used to take the photo, um, depending on how it was connected to the computer and how, you know, what make, what, how um, technologically advanced the camera is and what software you use to edit the picture itself. So you can, you, can, you can get a ton of information from each picture. So if we look at this picture of the apple, um, this is, we can see that we have managed to get some information. This is a look up I did earlier. And here, this is the information that we have got from the apple here. Now notice there are numbers on the side. These numbers correlate exactly to the um, lookup numbers that we had earlier. So it's just a case of a V lookup, and then you can see you can get the name of the metric and the value next to each other. And that's exactly what you saw briefly earlier on here. So what I've done here is I have done a V lookup, and then I've linked those two next to each other. And as you can see here, we've got you know the make. And then the value. And you've got the name of the model, and then we've got the the model number, and then we've got the name of the software used to edit the program. Also, we've got the resolution, the date, and the time. And we've got the uh, focal length of the camera, and so on and so forth. So this is all the information that we've managed to extract from one simple picture of an apple on the internet. You know, number one picture, Apple Google search. This is the image. That, this is the data that we've got. So. Pretty amazing and pretty scary at the same time. So I hope you've enjoyed that tutorial. Uh, I will be doing more from now on. Um, sorry, it's been a while, um, but thanks for watching. Hey.